I started gymnastics when I was six years old. Uh, I had a trampoline in my backyard, and my mom saw me doing flips, so she asked me if I wanted to start doing classes at Winninger's in Manchester. I switched to Daggett Gymnastics when I was 12 years old. My parents and the coaches here were conversating at the regional championships, and they wanted me to come down and check it out here. Five out of the seven days a week, Sean Herzog drives 45 minutes to and from his gym for three and a half hour practices. After warming up, his gymnastics team practices all of their events and routines in which they compete. Sean and his teammates constantly encourage each other and push themselves to improve every day. They are coached by Olympic gold medalist Tim Daggett. I was fifth up on high bar at the Olympics, the last event of the men's team competition. We were battling with China, so I went up and did one of the best high bar routines of my life. I stuck my landing, looked over and scored a perfect 10.0, and that clinched the first ever gold medal for the U.S. men's gymnastics team. Sean has done a tremendous job. He's gotten much better every year. A very diligent kid, hardworking, and he has aspirations to be a top gymnast, which is tremendous. He has some events that are just phenomenal, off the charts for uh, his age. Tim has very high expectations for every one of his gymnasts and accepts nothing but the best from Sean and his teammates. Since Sean joined this competition team, he has traveled around the country and won over 50 medals. In 2013, he placed first at regionals and fifth in nationals in the Junior Olympic Division for his age group. I compete all six events, which is floor, pommels, rings, vault, P-bars, and high bar. My biggest goal in gymnastics is competing in the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. With such extraordinary talent, there is no doubt that Sean Herzog will go far in his gymnastics career. Hopefully, when you tune into the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics, you'll see this Manchester High School student stepping onto the International Awards podium. For Manchester Broadcast News, this has been Aaron Courtney reporting. Thank <laughs> you.